Hey, welcome back intermediate algebra students. So here's what we got on this one. This Khan Academy is called Quadratic Word Problems um, from Factored Form. Word problems makes it sound hard, but this one really is not that hard, okay? But you do have to read what the question is. What I mean by that is what is in the bold print? Because this gives you all the clues you need to know to figure out what you're looking for. This one says, how many seconds after takeoff will the hover craft land on the ground. You need to know when something goes up and then comes back down and lands on the ground, that would be one of the x-intercepts. Okay, so we need to know our x-intercepts on this one. So this one, by doing zero property product, the x-intercept would be 11. This one, after doing zero, uh, x, zero property product, <coughs> would be negative three. Now here's my question for you. This would have been three seconds ago can I throw something and it would have hit the ground three seconds before I threw it up? No. So this one doesn't make sense for when it would hit the ground. So in this case, you have to pick the positive one. It's going to hit the ground 11 seconds after you launch it. Okay. So you launch it at 11 seconds or you launch it at, some, at point zero and it lands at 11 seconds later and it's right there. It's just what is your zero property? So how many seconds? Seconds is an x-axis thing. Landing on the ground is a zero or x-intercept thing, and it's going to land on the ground after 11 seconds. Okay, let's do the next one. Again, you'll notice I don't even read the top part. I don't care about it. I read the question. How many seconds? So again, seconds is measuring an x thing. How many seconds after uh, Diving will Guillermo reach the lowest altitude. So the lowest altitude, the lowest point of diving, would be your um, would be your vertex. Like how low can he go? Correct. And they just want to know how many seconds will it be until he reaches the lowest. So they want to know what is the x coordinate of that vertex. Well, we can know from doing zero property product that this one right here. The opposite of negative 100 will be positive 100. But where did I get the zero from? What, you know that zero times anything is zero, correct? And there is no number being added or subtracted to that x. So there is no plus 100 or minus 100. So just if you want x to equal zero, it's x equals zero. So if you have an x alone without a plus or a minus sign, doesn't matter if it's being multiplied or not, it is going to equal zero. So, here is my two x-intercepts. Where does the vertex, the x-coordinate of the vertex, take place between the two x-intercepts? Hopefully, you're going to say, well, right in the middle. So, what's right in the middle of 0 and 100? You would be correct if you said 50. So, the x-coordinate of the vertex is 50. So, 50 seconds after diving, it will reach its lowest altitude. It does not ask for what is lowest altitude, just... How many seconds until it reaches that? Now, last one. Okay, here's another one. Again, I'm going to the question part first. What would be the company's profit if the app is priced at zero dollars? So they want to know if X is zero, how much money are they making? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this equation. We are going to figure out a profit if X equals zero. So I'm going to plug it in over here. And if X equals zero, as I plugged in there, See, 0 minus 3, 0 minus 3 right here equals negative 3. 0 minus 11, negative 11. Negative 3 times negative 11 is positive 33. But positive 33 times negative 2 is negative 66. So they're going to lose $66 million if they price their app at $0 according to that factored equation. That's all you're doing here, guys. Good luck. We will see you at Google Hangouts. Bye-bye.